been the captain for 30 years and harpooning for about 28. What I like the most about swordfish harpooning is out on the water and enjoying the weather and the wildlife and it's just a great sport. Our trips usually last from five to six, seven, eight days. When we first see a fish, usually somebody hollers swordfish and uh, then they'll say where, where and then I'll usually run out to the stand where we do the harpooning and uh, the guys stay up in the spar and they position the boat and start steaming. Sometimes if it's a fine day it might take five minutes you can see a fish that far away. Some days if it's choppy or whatever the fish could be right under your feet. When you see the fish you've got to get get you speed the boat up and tough to try to get the fish under the stand so that either you can take a hand jab the fish or sometimes if the fish sort of makes a moves you throw the pole. There's no more uh, sustainable fishery than the harpoon fish because you have to see them to harvest them. Every individual fish we have to see before we take it. There is no bycatch and no interference to any other marine ecosystem. When the MSC come along it was an opportunity to isolate our fishery and say that we are sustainable done by an independent third party. So we pursued that and received the MSC label and are now promoting and selling it as MSC certified. The people like to know the product now or demand that it be sustainable and it's another way also of uh, introducing quality that can be traceable back to the individual boat. Uh, most of the people that uh, I represent are you know third and fourth and sometimes fifth generation uh, fishermen or have had involvement in the fishing industry for a good many years so their vision of sustainability to some extent is is making sure that they can you know continue their family's livelihood for generations to come